Hey everyone, welcome to Archland. So we have here Susan and Susie. Uh, I already built them actually, so they're there. Um, I've had a couple of you know days to ponder and test them, and so far I've had my conclusions on their build, um, how strong both of them are. They're both unique because I think they're the only two characters in one. <laughs> And uh, it's kind of kind of weird, uh, especially when they hold the uh, weapon. So let's go to the hero details. Okay, so first we're gonna be discussing strength. Both of them actually have high attack damage, um, as evident here as rank S. Um, it should be for a mage, and they specialize in debuffs with more debuffs. Uh, comes more damage okay strong debuff against strong def uh, defense against uh, mage and priests by the way so high magical defense so they can be mage and priest killers take note of that because you can actually sacrifice them to take out two targets could be we're gonna show you that later but their weakness is going to be um, physical defense take note of that they will be vulnerable to physical attacks so let's go to the equipment here um, equipment should be uh, focused on physical defense and as you can see when attack in a melee battle during uh, battle physical defense is plus 10 percent this is how i initially i'm going to equip her with with a emphasis on physical defense and to address your weakness so that is more or less it let's uh, move on to the unique passive here so unique passive is uh, infinite fear it's there's a there's a little bit of um, translation error i think so increase melee attack by eight percent to targets with debuff so so not melee attack sorry magic attack by eight percent it scales depending on the rank the maximum is 15 with debuff so if they're ready debuff then their magic attack is really going to go bonkers and at the end of the action inflict random debuffs to random enemies with x number of tiles so they're going if you you if you actually have teleport for them this skill the yellow one i'm gonna you know um talk about that more later this will be uh paired more with the unique passive so take note of that we're gonna be sampling that later in our hero showcase so again the unique passive increases damage to targets with debuff and scales up to 15 percent and there's a lot of debuff come coming and go uh, coming in when they have random enemies nearby which is near to them more or less traits let's move on to the traits skill prioritization is actually important for for them depending on what type of build you want to go so let's talk about the top three and the bottom three here there are two trees again you know the game you should only prioritize one tree not go for both because you'll be ending resetting it at level 60 which is a long way from now so let's go to the top first so the top is going to be damage this is damage and self-heal then this one is increased damage with debuffs so that is the top build while the bottom build if you want to build the bottom this is the teleport so once you teleport then they acquire you no know, one action after teleporting so again this is actually a nice skill to have it's going to be paired with your unique passive and also the other skill that's within here so this one is damage with random debuffs mage are silenced with this one so if there are mages for example she teleports then deals this um activates this skill this is going to damage surrounding enemies then mages additionally will have silence the others will also have random debuffs and also the mage as well so again she's going to be a mage killer 
um, at this point. Okie dokie. So again, there are other, um, there are other, the the middle tree. We call it the middle tree. The middle tree here. Uh, this you will be able to get. So it has um, unhealable. It this one is going to be pollution, which is cannot you know cannot uh, the enemy cannot receive debuffs. And this one is going to be exhausted, so minus physical and uh, magic attack. So those are the other skills that she has. And also, just going to be uh, going back to the summary. This is another skill that I actually like. So this one, if the enemy has two debuffs already, then once you cast this on an enemy... They will be stunned. If the enemy doesn't have two debuffs, she will put two random debuffs. Or they will put two random debuffs. So again, this is one of the favorite skills that I, ha that I have been using. Because it is actually pinpointed to control specific units that, are, that you want to silence. Uh, sorry, that you want to stun. Uh, probably skip a turn. Uh, which is actually very important. So this is going to be one of her excellent skills. Take note of that one, guys. Going back to the traits. So we have here <coughs> her trait, the Darkness of the Twins. I think this is nice to pull off, but eventually difficult, okay? So leadership, two dark allies, uh, increase in attack and um, defense, increase of damage to 15%. Two targets with three or more debuffs. So it's kind of hard to pull off because number one, um, you need to have three or more debuffs on a specific enemy uh, so that other allies can have a 15% damage to the targets. Okay, so all of the allies will, 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 will apply plus 15% uh, damage provided that the enemy has three debuffs okay so and also this can be going to you need um two dark allies here so the two dark allies um my recommendations would be let's okay so for the heroes that you need to bring with suzy and zeus and you have a limited selection here um you have a few dark um, heroes that you could use Priority number one is going to be Alicia. I don't have her here, but Alicia is a dark uh, priest. Um, she already has healing with her. She don't. Uh, you only have five, right? You need to fill the roster. So one is a dark priest, preferably Alicia. If you don't have Alicia, uh, sorry, second priority would be Catherine, because Catherine will help you apply debuffs as well. The third option would be Layla. If you don't have Alicia like I do, I don't have Alicia. You could bring Catherine and Layla. Layla is a good debuffer. She is very well positioned to bring in two debuffs once she at once she has one of her skills um, uh, activated. And also the other options that you can consider, but I won't really recommend, is Hassan. Hassan is the last option that I think. Um, you need to consider if you want to activate her leadership. Uh, Peacock is also one option, but all but probably the fourth or fifth option. So top three would be Alicia, you have Catherine, and you have Layla. Okay. Peacock is very dependent on debuff debuffs as well. We need um, other uh, other darkness element heroes to apply debuffs so she is good for probably another dps but depending on 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 your team composition but again alicia is a must second would be catherine or Layla, or if you don't have alicia again you would have to go with catherine and with Layla for this team okay so we're now here with our rune setup so the rune setup for um, for her or for both of them, Susie and uh, Susan, it's going to be the Arglass. The Arglass is going to give you magic penetration plus a chance to, to reduce cooldown for affected skills by 2. 
50% chance. That's a big chance. Okay? So, more or less, you will need this if you recall some of the skills of these two, Susie and Susan, have a three-turn cooldown. So, if you could um, lessen that, and usually for mages, um, I would recommend this, especially for high cooldown uh, mages. They're very skill dependent, or they're very they're very magic dependent. So that is why priority goes to the hourglass. The second priority, if you don't have the hourglass, this is going it's, it's going to be the eye. So this is going to give you a magic attack. One random debuff is given to the target with fifty percent chance of causing, you know. A, a debuff so either priority one would go to the hourglass secondary would go to the eye and your supplementary would be either the staff this is the staff or your supplementary is the eye okay so those are because you need the supplementary for the eye because of the magic attack so supplementary's magic attack then your primary is magic penetration with the hourglass with a 50% chance to reduce cooldown by 2, which is big. So for her unique equipment, this is going to be Tears of Resentment. So this is going to give you additional stats, additional magic attack and HP. This is what I want for her. So increase the damage done by 1% for each debuff affecting the target when attacking him with an active attack up to 5%. So this is an increase, but this is going to be one of one of the things that she needs because she tends to go up close. At the end of each action, recover 3% of own HP for each enemy affected by a debuff within 3 tiles up to 15%. So, this is going to be helpful in terms of her survivability. If you're asking me if this one, if this scepter is a must, Yes, this is going to be a must. Okay, so we are here with the uh, hero experience. So this will demo how important the teleport is. So as we, let's uh, try to move forward here. Let's activate teleport. She will do lots of damage with, uh, with no, she will give debuffs actually to enemy surrounding her as you can see there are two debuffs and this one is going this one is your is your ultimate it's going to be opened later on but this one you can you can actually open this this is available in the bottom part this is available in the bottom tree and uh more or less you have to there you go use that then after that, after she deals damage, you can actually move with her ultimate. So this is her ultimate. Let's try and see the animation for this one. Twins are very powerful, um, indeed. So more or less, I will, you know... I will build them. I will try to maximize their tree up to, you know, up to the last part because I am actually motivated to build a debuff team for the both of them. Okay, guys, so my final thoughts for Susie and Susan. Um, again, high attack damage debuff, very strong against mages, priests, and anybody with magic. They're very strong. Also, prioritization in terms of uh, in terms of the tree you will have or the trait you will have to prioritize the bottom part this will unlock most of her unique abilities um the ability to teleport and to act after it could actually be used as an escape tool you don't really have to use it for offense you can use it for defense so again you have to go with the bottom tree guys or the bottom vine whatever you call this this is the one that dealt aoe damage she's going to be you know she's going to be terrific she's going to be either one of your finishers for either pvp or pve she's going to be vital for both so 
she's not going to be less than SS. That I'm sure of. And that is it. So hopefully, can I get your thoughts on the build that we discussed for her? Are you going with the build that I'm recommending or you're going with the top uh, vine or the top three? So again, bottom line, the bottom line or the bottom tree is my recommendation. She is going to shine with this one. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.